Mr. David Bowie there on mm. the uh, Diamond Dogs album back from 1970 something. Mm. Uh, we've got Sean Bean with us. Couldn't be happier. Sean Bean walked in the room here, smoking. Yeah. Which is not to be encouraged, Sean. Mm. Um, <laughs> immediately knew the track, knew the album. A bit of a Bowie fan? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Favourite album? Yeah, great. That's a, I like that one. Um, Man Who Sold the World. Man Who Sold the World's a great album, isn't it? Yeah. Have you Good heard the new album, Heathen? No, I haven't. That's a good one. Is it, yeah? Give us your address, I'll get um, yeah. Andy to buy you one and send it over. <laughs> it's a good one. Mm. Currently in one of the... Pla Hamlet, Macbeth, one of those Shakespeare plays at the moment. Macbeth. Macbeth. How's that going? Yeah. Good, good, yeah. We've uh, we just extended it for another three weeks. Yeah, I'm uh, going to come and see it. Oh, yeah? I never, no, I never go to the theatre. Can't abide it normally. I want to see you do Macbeth. I'm going to come in two I weeks. I thought you time. might have already been. No, I couldn't be bothered. Mm. We had Lady Macbeth <laughs> on the show. I promised her. Sorry, I let her down. But you, I'm going to come and see. I want to see. Yeah. It. You must be. I, I imagine it's a role which you're suited to. Yeah, you know, it's something I've always wanted to do for a long time. You know, since uh, I sort of started getting into drama. You know, I was about sort of 16, 17. And uh, have you seen a good Macbeth? Sort of, was there someone you saw who kind of? I, saw, I suppose the my the best one I ever saw was Ian McKellen. Oh, I bet that was good. So, uh, you know, yeah, it was brilliant, and I saw it. I was I was in drama school in Rotherham, and I saw him in a production in uh, Wathon Dern, which is near Rotherham. Wow! And uh, it was him and Judy Dench, and that made quite a big impression on me. That now there's a now there's mm. a lineup. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, it was a fantastic production. Trevin on directed it. Brilliant. I saw Judy Dench in Cymbeline once, which is yeah. a bloody awful play. Yeah. What a I load of rubbish really that is. That. Yeah. She probably <laughs> well, made it. I was, she made it good, but it was still a bit of a waste of an afternoon, frankly. <laughs> no wonder no well, one talks about that. This is quite a fast-moving production. Well, it's, it's a great play, of course. Very clear. Macbeth's an interesting character to play. Um, it is, yeah. He's very, uh, he's very effective, very uh, immediate sort of character. There's not much time for reflection. It, it's, it just all happens very quickly. Have you played Hamlet ever? No. Because no. you strike me as more of a Macbeth uh, than a Hamlet anyway in life. I don't yeah. know if that would be, you know. Macbeth's more of a, I suppose, a, a soldier, a warrior character that is a very wild, vivid, sort of dangerous imagination who uh, who lets things run away with him, really, and uh, takes control. I mean, Lady Macbeth, at first, she's the, she's the sort of guiding influence. She's a strong character, and she eventually falls apart, and he, he takes over. Any film Macbeth you've seen that you've liked? Um... I uh, I saw that Throne of Blood. Kurosawa's. Kurosawa, yeah. Epic. Was I fantastic. That was isn't it? really good. You know. I'm having a Kurosawa <laughs> night around my house in a couple of weeks' time. You want to come? Yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah. What night are you off the play? Sundays, you know, did you? I don't do Sundays. I'm no. going to be watching Redbeard. The last film you made, oh, yeah? Toshiro Mifuni. Yeah. It's a, apparently, it's a, it's a hospital drama. <laughs> You up, oh, yeah. you up for it? You up for it? All right. Yeah. I'll get Frank Skinner around. If you two get bored, you can talk about football. <laughs> yeah. How's your team doing? You're a Sheffield fan, aren't you? Sheffield United. Are they yeah. still in? Is the, is the FA Cup still going on? Yeah, it's still yeah, going on. Yeah. Cup, are you yeah. in that still? We're, we're in that. Yeah. And how well yeah. are you doing? We're doing well. We uh, we beat Ipswich last week, and uh, I think we're playing Walsall at home. And what today? No. Tomorrow. We're playing Millwall away so, today. So. Well, that's a lot of playing. Those guys are going to get tired. Yeah. I mean, they've got. They've... <laughs> Well, I'm just, I'm just trying yeah, to think of things to once say. Once or yeah. twice a week. But it must be quite hard for them, isn't it? Because they're running around a lot. And... They're good. They're, good. They're, they're, they're a lot of young guys, and there's a good spirit you know, around the team now. You know, very, uh... do, you, do you get the chance to catch them live much? Is not that really. It's not like a gig, is it? You <laughs> never see the, the, the performances, the matches, right. the games. You know what I mean. When you... <laughs> I always think of an audience as well. I always think, look at that big audience they've got today there. I know it's the wrong word, but I can't remember the word. Right. But it's, uh, it's, no. still, it's, it's still okay for you when you go football. You don't get uh, bothered too much by... Uh... No, it's all right. You know, it's, uh, it's pretty good. A great, great set of supporters, Sheffield yeah. United fans. And, uh, you know, I've been going for a while now. And um, no, it's great. It's just a, it's just a passion of mine. It's just something I've always been. With a team like you got there, who I imagine are doing well, you're kind of pretty certain they're not going to win the FA Cup with the other. I'm under the impression that will either be Manchester United or Arsenal. Is that correct? Yeah, they're still in. <clears> well done. Seems well, to be uh, yeah, win. yeah, that's usually the case. So, as fans yeah. of another team who you kind of know aren't going to make it, where's the satisfaction for you? You just want to see them do as well as well, they we, can. Or? You know, we, we were in the Worthington Cup. You know, we we got to the semi final of that, and uh, Liverpool just scraped to win Anfield. And uh, <laughs> we uh, we got we got pretty far. So you know, if we'd have won, then we'd have been, we would have been in the final. So it's right. not it's not sort of impossible for a first division team to to sort of get into the final. But it's it's really tough. And is know? the first division now the top division, or is that the Premier? Premier is the top. So first division is actually the second division, then. Yes, yeah, sort of. What the first division? Yeah. Is what the second division? I mean, it's called the first, first division, but it's sort of second division. It's sort of, yeah, it is. No, yeah. So third division is fourth the division. Premier, the Premier League. <laughs> Why did they change it all? <laughs> the Premier League's like the old first division. Well, what was wrong with the way it was? I don't know. 
Well, I think someone needs to... <laughs> <laughs> it just strikes me as being unnecessarily confusing. It is, isn't it? It's well, isn't the first it? division is not... A lot of people ask that question. Like in America, <clears> when they call the ground floor the first floor. It's not the first floor, it's the ground floor. <laughs> Do they? Yeah, they call it the first floor. You go in, it's like the lift is... Oh, a, or know, the I elevator. He's no, on one. It's, it's really confusing. <laughs> Anyway, that's by the by, yeah. I suppose. Um, Should have a... Macbeth, you do, presumably today, so being Saturday, you've got two shows on, have you? Yeah. That must be yeah. knackering, isn't it? It is, yeah. We, we usually do uh, two on Wednesdays as well, but we're not. <clears throat> we're having a week off now. We've got a week off, but uh, we, we were doing eight shows a week, you know, two on Wednesday, two on Saturday. And is there a markedly different sort of crowd in for an early show, for a matinee, than for an evening performance? Yeah, sometimes you get, well, you know, with Wednesday matinees, a lot of school children and stuff. Um, and they're, they're really... You know they've really enjoyed it. They really, uh, I think they find it very clear, very, very easy to follow. It's quite a clear production. It's a great thing um, when you're at school and you get taken to see a play because it does actually make sense when you see it. I remember reading yeah. Shakespeare at school and you, it's well, kind I of impenetrable. That, yeah. And then you see it, and you think, oh, I understand now. And you yeah, see. I think it's much easier. I mean, you know, you can sort of sit in a classroom for hours and hours reading a couple of pages, trying to figure out what it's all about. But I think to go to actually go and see the play, you know, spend two hours watching the play, then go back to the classroom and 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 so you, you can sort. Of Understand what it's all about, rather than starting the other way around. Yeah. Also, seeing it with you in, presumably a lot of you have seen you. In, a lot of them have seen you in TV shows or in mm -hmm. movies, and they're yeah. familiar with you. <clears throat> I mean, they would have seen you in all of the Rings. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So there must be a kind yeah. of an extra excitement for them in that. I would have thought. Yeah, well, I hope so. You know, I mean, we, uh, you know, they seem to really uh, respond very well and get a great reception at the end at the curtain call, and uh, you know, and it, it does help that the fact that a lot of youngsters have seen me in Lord of the Rings and Sharp and stuff like yeah. that. So. You know, you get uh, it, it helps with the audience. And, uh, Lord of the Rings being a sort of phenomenal success, of course. I mean, critically as well as commercially, one of the biggest movies, if not the biggest movie of last year and the year before. Mm. And now we've got the third one coming at the end of yeah. this year, one hopes. Um, you, unfortunately, don't make it into the second or third film. Unless no. you come back, you don't come back, do you? No, I don't know, really. I'm, I might do, I don't, I don't know. Well, well, you must remember what you filmed, <laughs> then. I suppose these days, though, what with Gollum, they can just they can make you out of the computer stuff. Can I well, ask I you something? Actually, I actually shot some uh, footage. I went back to New Zealand and we shot some footage, uh, some new footage for the, for the second one, but it didn't make it into the film, but it'll be in the DVD. So. We've, we've got to get the news. I didn't realise mm. time was running away with us quite so much. When we come back, we'll, we'll talk some more oh. about that. Uh, ADH 91 FM, this is Radio 2 from the BBC. No, I'm more of a Hamlet. You're right, though. Yeah, I could do Hamlet well. Oh, You're sorry, I just chatting to Sean Bean there. He was just suggesting that maybe I should broaden my horizons. Mm. Um, Lord of the Rings, answer this question for me. You know Gollum? Mm. Do you know, did they base the way he looks on Gary Lineker? <laughs> do you know what that? Was that? Yeah. What, what part of his... It's a dead ringer. <laughs> I've been out with Gary sometimes. Kids coming up all the time. Can I have your autograph? He goes, son Gary. They said, no, no, son Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read that? Uh, you know, um, Mr. Putin, the Russian Prime Minister, mm. apparently the people in Russia are trying to sue the makers of the Harry Potters movie because they claim that Dobby the house elf was based on Putin. <laughs> <laughs> and they're bringing him into disrepute. Disreputing, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, that's by the by. Uh, what's happening for you on the film front? Are you doing any new, new movies in the future? Um, I'm maybe starting this um, film called Troy, uh, which is about the Trojan War and the, the Greeks. Um, that's probably started in April, so April to September. And that'll be like an American movie or a British movie? It's uh, Warner Brothers. So um, a big, big budget? It's a big, yeah, it's a big, it's like I'm delighted million. they're making kind of period movies from that kind of period. I mean, Gladiator yeah. was great, of course, but yeah. I, I love seeing that kind of thing, and really you can have fun with an epic like that. Yeah, think. it is, it is. I mean, it's a classic, I mean, it's uh, Achilles. I mean, Brad Pitt's playing Achilles, and, wow. and playing Odysseus. Orlando Bloom, he's so, from Paris. Now, Achilles so was a kind of mythical character, though. Was he a real character as well? I mean, you know, Achilles and his dodgy heel. Are they mixing mythology with so, reality, or was it in the framework of the mythology? I suppose it's... Yeah, I mean, it's it's quite a good story, you know. It's quite close to sort of home as... You know, I mean, oh, it's a Warner Brothers film. It's a big, big budget film. Yeah. Uh, and, and I've read know, no home. See, my ignorance is apparent. Writers, yeah. but, I've read uh, no home at all. Well, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, so you, you have to pretend you have. Do people? I mean, you come in. You've got impeccable working class credentials, Sean. Thank you. If you don't mind me saying so. Um, but do you still? Do people still find it kind of um, odd, or are they surprised that someone like you can get Shakespeare, can work with Homer, can understand the complexities of like something which is a, a subtle piece of work like that? Um, I don't know really. I mean, it's something that I. You know, I've, I've I've done I've been quite familiar with it since I started. But you know, with drama school, we always did Shakespeare at yeah. drama school, and and I went on my first job was uh, was uh, was a, was Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet, and then I went on to play Romeo at the RFC, and so uh, and so I've, I've always sort of kept myself familiar with 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 Shakespeare's work. But I just wonder if there's any snobbery there still. I mean, you know, because I'm 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 you know. I, 
I've never experienced any, but I suspect there are still the kind of last vestiges of that class system in place in this country. Well, you know, I suppose it's uh, people who have, you know, come to Shakespeare. I mean, in the past they may have come to see productions that are maybe too reverential and, you know, over... A little on the dull side. You know, yeah, which, which doesn't make for great sort of drama and great good entertainment, whereas I think it's, you know, it should be made accessible. I think that's why our Macbeth is good, because it is so accessible. Uh, people come out, they can understand it, it's clear. Uh, you know, not everything, but, I mean, you, you get the gist of, of what's going on. Really. How, who, who are the witches in your production? Is that Because that's a great scene, of course. Yeah, and they're, and they're brilliant. You know, they're uh, very... Uh, well, you've not seen have yourself. I've not seen it. Is it is it Trini and Susanna are two of the witches from the TV show? <laughs> whatever you want, and then is that why? <laughs> no, no, I've been misled. Three really, uh, three great actors, talented actresses playing those parts, whose name really you can't great. remember right now. But that's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to push one that. You, no, he can remember. I just decided with you. Um, I'm going to come and see it. I want to get some free tickets off you. Obviously, I don't want to pay to see it because I figured I shouldn't have to. Because why should I pay to go and see a theatre production where presumably the chairs are quite <clears> uncomfortable? They always, there's never enough leg room for me at the theatre. Well, it's those old theatres, isn't it? You know, I people were short about that. It probably was. That's probably the case. Yeah. Um, so Troy is happening. This is going to be the, uh, the the Trojan movie you're making. This is presumably this will be quite a big chunk out of your life then. Yeah, yeah it's uh, probably from April to September. It's a big, t- it's so, a big old um, commitment, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. But it's exciting. You know, it's, it's a great. Uh, uh, who's directing? Great thing to Wolfgang Peterson. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Perfect story. That's good. He did yeah. the boot. That's good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's some good film. He's, he's good. Yeah, he's, he's, he's sure. Good. As we call you to come to the front now. <laughs> Yeah, mach, mach schnell die Anger. <laughs> this is what you've got for another six months. <laughs> mach schnell die Anger. No, are that you that? angry? Because we have dinner time now. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like that. There'll be a lot of confusion. <laughs> Keep, Sean, here's what you, very good English. Here's, oh, that's <clears> ruined my fun. <laughs> here's what you do for me. Keep a diary. Keep a di- mm-hmm. Do you do that? Um, sometimes, yeah. You should keep yeah. a diary for production, because that's a great... Uh, I love reading people's film diaries when they're out on location. And you never know now, it may well be plain sailing all the way. I hope for your sake it is. It might be a disastrous experience. Mm-hmm. You might encounter floods, famine, yeah. plagues of locusts. <laughs> you, <laughs> Wolfgang's work papers might be revoked and they might have to get a British director on board. It might be any number of complications, <laughs> all of which will make for fabulous reading for us later on. So keep yeah. a diary. all right. Do, will you do that for us? Yeah, okay. Do you want me to buy you a diary? <laughs> I don't mind doing it. Yeah. I'll buy you a diary when I come and see Macbeth next week. In exchange for the fabulous free tickets you're going to give me, ideally a, a box would be lovely. <laughs> a box with some sandwiches in. Um, you put that on for me. I'll right, bring you a thick, a diary. leather-bound diary <clears> with <throat> a pen which works in all conditions. Love, yeah. Not any old pen. Yeah. One of those space pens. Yeah. You can write upside down. <laughs> <laughs> just in case I don't know what's going to happen maybe Achilles says you're strung up at some stage you can keep waiting in between takes okay. Sean put down the diary <laughs> it's time for the action <laughs> Mark Twist an action <laughs> he's a great director though he is yeah yeah he's very good I think he'll uh, you know I'm looking forward to working with him I think he'll do a good job of it do you like um, movies on that scale though or do you prefer kind of more intimate a smaller piece <clears throat> well this is I mean doing <clears throat> Macbeth is, is I mean it's fantastic because you know you don't have to keep stopping and starting you yeah. just go through the whole experience in one in one one night but uh, you know the, the sort of different mediums I, I, I enjoy working on film and, and that you do it a few times and then it's done and you move on to something else and it's quite, that's quite refreshing but uh, M- must... you don't quite get the same thrill that you get I mean <clears throat> Doing something like Macbeth every night is is a thrill because the audience is different every night. The reactions are different, and you never know what to expect. And presumably you the never performance, really get that sort of... but regardless of what you're getting back from them, presumably there are just some nights when you are kind of in that zone when you're doing yeah. the performance. You sometimes know, sometimes you like... get it, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get certain scenes, sometimes you don't. You know, last night I came, I thought oh, I really got that. I got that scene tonight, and then I went a little bit further. And I, I didn't get the next one, you know. And it's, it's you're always trying to get get all of them to work at the same time. Yeah. But you do so, you know. Those occasions when everything goes spot on, everybody's really on form. That must be a great feeling. Exhilarating. Yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. That must be. Um, um, can you recreate that? I mean, presumably that, that's what being a professional is. There's a, a level of performance mm. below which you do not sink. So there's a yeah. kind of guarantee. You're trying quality. to find something different every night. If you try and repeat something that was successful the last time, it, mm. it might not necessarily work. It's just a matter of keeping it alive, keeping it spontaneous, and that's the that's the sort of excitement and the the attraction, you know, just 
some anything can happen. But do you have tricks? <laughs> do you have stuff you kind of can put in your mind to make yourself in a certain mood, a certain frame, to recreate a certain emotion when called upon, or do you just really have to work from the text and try and be in the moment? Um, <clears throat> I think now we've done. I think we've done about 115 shows now, you know, uh, consecutive. Uh, so you know, you, you've got to keep. Um, I don't know. There's just such a good framework there. There's just there's such a good spirit to the, to the whole great cast, great group of people we're working with. Uh, who are very spontaneous and very lively bunch, and uh, you know that sort of keeps it alive. You know, occasionally you do have your, 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 your sort of drops where you think, oh, "I'm gonna, gonna keep this going, I'm gonna keep it fresh." Yeah. You know, but uh, that's that's sort of only natural after so. Here's something that's always intrigued me: when you're playing in a, a tragedy like that, you as an actor and as a as the person, Sean as the person, you know where it's going to end. You know what happens to Macbeth at the end before mm. you step on stage. But when you're playing Macbeth, do you have to? Do, can you find a way of not? Factoring that in and acting as if, well, maybe it's going to turn out okay. Because presumably there are key yeah. points in the play where it has to be. He thinks it's all going to, yeah, be, oh, everything's okay. going, yeah. going really well, swimmingly, you know, absolutely at the beginning. And uh, so, how yeah, do you the create gold, that the golden couple? That, that everything, you know, what could possibly go wrong? But it's the uh, they they want just a little bit more, and that's their sort of, you know. But can you get that out of your head? The fact that you know where it's going. You've got to do, yeah. You can't. I mean, you can't go on with the the sort of end, the the end of the play in your head. You've got to just. I mean, Macbeth is a particular play which is so present. You know, it's no. There's not much time to, for reflection or, or pondering. It, it's just so immediate that you've just got to try and live every moment for for that moment mm -hmm. and and not have any thought of what's happened before or what's going to happen in the future. It's just going to be so immediate. I'd quite like to see a version with the uh, Posh and Bex in the lead role. <laughs> yeah, well, well yeah. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? Mm. Out damn spot. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a spot. Posh, I've got a spot. Get out. <laughs> No, that she'd have the spot, wouldn't she? Yes, yeah, she had the spot. I get it. Yeah. I'm, not, yeah. I'm not that old famous. <laughs> thing. And you know that idea about you know impending tragedy? You mm. have to feel it's going to be okay. That's how we are on this show every week. <laughs> we think we, we kind of know it's going to end badly, but we pretend yeah. otherwise early on, and then you know. Well, you keep, you keep trying to make it work, don't you? We got, you someone keep has to. It's going to be all right. We have to. <laughs> I'm coming to see you in Shakespeare. Can you make sure? Do you want me to call you in advance so you so it's a good night? <laughs> you know I mean? Or shall I just take potluck like everyone else? Do you want to come? I don't know. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm sort of busy next week. The week after I want to come. So the week oh, after we're next. Not, we're, not, we're off next week, anyway. So. Oh, good. That's that's good. Yeah, okay. So well, that's working <laughs> fine so far. The week after, I'll give you a call in the morning. So I'm coming tonight. Make it a good. One. All right. You've got to get more notice than that. It's hey, sold you know, out production. You know Saturday what, night. Yeah, Saturday night. Tickets for me. I'm famous. <clears throat> hey, I will tell you what to do. <laughs> the night I'm coming. Famous. Change the ending a bit. <laughs> Let's have a happy ending for him for once. Yeah. That'd be good to keep us all on our toes. <laughs> Imagine we went out and said, never seen one like that before. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I didn't the know they danced the, the audacity end. of that production. <laughs> Quite something. More tea. It'd be fantastic. So you want, to, you want one of these boxes, don't you? If you got the, one, the, one of these the, boxes. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> somewhere. It's, it's not like the Italy. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, the, the, the Royal Box. Tell them I'm coming, they won't mind giving up <laughs> for you. If you're right on the side, we can. Uh, you can uh... Me and Jane, we're like the new, we're like Royal Royalty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? <laughs> In certain parts of the world, perhaps. Um, Sean, as always, it's a pleasure spending some time with you. Thank you. M Macbeth sounds great. I know it's been doing very well for you, and I'm sure mm. deservedly so. I will be coming to see it, if I may. Yeah, yeah. Don't have to be a box. Um, yeah. And uh, good luck with Troy. I'm already excited about yeah. that. That sounds Thank like a great you. cast. It's yeah. you, it's Brad Pitt, it's Orlando Bloom. It sounds terrific. <clears throat> yeah. Wolfgang at the helm. Mm -hmm. Can't go, it cannot go wrong. I shouldn't say that, because that's obviously, you know... Mm. Could be tempting fate. Sean, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Jonathan. Have a good couple of shows yeah. today. Have a good week off and get yourself. Yeah. Remember, I'm coming. You know, don't, mm. don't forget the diary. In the zone. Yeah, leather, I'll bring the diary. Leather bound. Do you want leather bound or do you want human skin? <laughs> <laughs> it costs more, but I think it says so much about the person holding it. Thanks, Sean. Take care. Thanks, Jonathan.